back at it again for another video and today I'll be showing you how to make a basketball game which I was shown at the start of the video so let's start so what you're gonna do is for the cat you're gonna go to the I button make them side to side and then now what you're gonna do is go to events take the when green file clicked then go to control take the forever loop inside that forever loop put a if then and then if let's say sensing um key left arrow pressed then point in direction 90 which is in motion Point in direction negative 90 and then go to and then go take a move 10 steps and then go to next costume so we can make a um, move switch through costumes okay now let me duplicate this one more time change up stuff inside of it uh, make this one right arrow and then do point and direction just 90 and keep the other same and then what you're gonna do is take an if else pop it in there and then put if y position to get uh, equal to I mean, less than If Y position is less than negative one two nine then set cat to negative one thirty. Set Y to negative one thirty. Y to negative one thirty, and then what you're gonna do is make a variable, which is in the data, uh, and then type in cat falling speed. Okay, and then take a uh, set cat falling speed to zero. And then what you're gonna do is go to get go get a change cat falling speed by uh, negative two. And then last, what you're gonna do is change Y by, which is in motion. Change Y by, I should stop the script. Uh, change Y by falling cat speed. And you're pretty much done.
Now what you can do for this, for the next script, is oh, um, what you can do for the next script is when go to event and take a when let's say up arrow and then go to control take an if then statement and then go to operators do an equal so if y position is equal to negative 130 then set cat falling speed to 20 and then what you're going to do next is change y by cat falling speed which is in motion take a change y by not set y it's change y by um take up that 10 go to data and take a cat falling speed drag it in there and stop him and he jumps Okay, next part is the basketball. So what you're gonna do next is go to this little icon and then go to things and once you see the basketball, click on it and now it's there. So what you're gonna do next is go to event, take when green flag clicked, go to data, this is going to be the score. Set score to set score to zero, and then looks, and then hide. Okay. Now what you're going to do next is go to events, take a when space key pressed, go to cat or go into motion, take the um, yeah, go to mouse pointer, but now what you're going to do is click sprite 1 we can change the name while we're at it and go to cat then what we're going to do next is go to looks and then click get the show and then do set basketball falling speed to 24 which is in data. So we're making a new variable basketball ball falling Okay, now that we've done that, uh, now go grab a set basketball falling speed to zero. Now what you're going to do inside of that is put 24. And then what you're going to do next is go to motion, take a change Y by, not set Y, it's change Y by basketball falling speed which is a data and then we and then go to control take a repeat until so if touching if touching color um red for the hoop so let's go make the hoop now, if touching color blue, make the outside red. And then put a zoom in a lot. And then, un and then make a mini blue dot.
Okay. Oh, hold on. Okay. So now on zoom out, and now you see this tiny, tiny blue dot. So what you're gonna do with that blue dot is go to basketball, go to script, and then do uh. So to the repeat until take a. Uh, as I said, a uh, operator. Uh, less than put in Y position which is in motion and then do negative 129 okay now this is when the basketball part comes uh, I mean the hoop part comes in so Go to controls, take in an if, and then if touching color, let's say, and sent, go to sensing, take if touching color, maybe hard, make sure it becomes blue, good, so once it becomes blue, the color of this, if touching color, um, then say done, go to looks, say done, not hello. For uh, 100 seconds. Then what I'm going to do next is change Y by 8, which is going to be in motion. Change X by 8. And then type in 8 by 10. Then what we're going to do next is change Y by basket falling speed. So change Y by basket falling speed, which is in data. And then turn six degrees. And what you and um, now what you're gonna do is go to take a uh, change basketball falling speed by negative two. Which is in data, change bas change basketball falling speed by negative two. Mm, put it inside, not outside. Negative two. And then what you're gonna do to looks is go to looks and then click and then put in a hide at the very end. Okay, so now you should be able to shoot. So you're gonna click the space bar to shoot. And then what you're gonna do next is what you're gonna do next is go to and go to the sprite the hula hoop, I mean the basketball hoop and then this is a really really easy code right here uh, and then so when green flag clicked forever go to control take it forever um, now go to motion take a uh, glide one sec one second and then what we're gonna do for that is just pick a random one so go to operators, pick random one, and then uh, what you're gonna type inside is negative 240, and then negative, and then just 240. And then for Y, what you're gonna do is the same thing. Uh, go to pick a random 
then this time what you're going to do is negative 50 and then negative I mean just 180 so now the hoop should move so you're basically done and hope you guys liked today's video don't forget to subscribe like and leave a comment down below of what you want next and if we can get at least five or ten likes or seven or six subscribers i'll do something very very crazy on scratch until then stay tuned peace